Mr. Green for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And still I rise, Mr. Speaker, and still I rise in the name of justice for Breonna Taylor. Mr. Speaker, it has been widely reported that the death of Breonna Taylor is a tragedy. Her death is being reported as a tragedy. A tragedy because she was innocent. She committed no crime. A tragedy because it happened in her home in the midnight hour. A tragedy because she was unarmed. It is being reported that her death was a tragedy. But there's a question, Mr. Speaker, about her death that we have to ask that few want to hear because few want to consider the answer. But this is the preeminent question as it relates to her death. A question that will haunt us because of the history that we have with race relations in this country. We have to ask the question. It's a question that the status quo doesn't want to hear because the status quo is concerned with the answer. It's a question that deals with systemic discrimination. Today, I ask the question, if Breonna Taylor were a 26-year-old, innocent white woman, innocent white woman, innocent white woman who was killed in the middle of the night when black police officers intruded into her home, would her death be a tragedy or a crime?
Gentleman's time has expired.